So now that it's confirmed you're coming to Concordia, you're probably thinking about where you're going to live during your studies. Whether you're thinking about staying at your parents' house, finding an apartment, or living on campus, the good news is that Concordia's central location makes any of those options quite easy. It's important to keep in mind that Concordia University has two campuses, and depending on your program and the courses you're taking, you may spend more time at one rather than the other. This could influence where you decide to live. Just for review, these programs are based at the Loyola campus. Everything else is based at the Sir George Williams campus downtown. So let's start with the Sir George Williams campus, located specifically in a downtown neighborhood called Ville Marie. If you're apartment hunting, these are areas close by. As you may have guessed, the closer you stay to the downtown core, the more expensive rent will be. But for some students, the convenience of being just a few minutes walk from the SGW campus may outweigh the extra costs. It might also allow you to save on transportation costs. Plus, not only will you be close to school, but you'll find countless shops and restaurants just around the corner. If you venture a bit further out from the downtown campus, you'll find more affordable options, or in some cases, a bigger apartment for the same cost as a smaller one located downtown. Even though you'd be a bit further from the university, traveling to and from campus can be made easy by looking for an apartment near a metro station. The metro is what we call our subway system in Montreal. Concordia's stop is on the green metro line, but an apartment near the orange line could work too. If you're from out of town, then Concordia's very own on-campus Grey Nuns residence might be just what you're looking for. It's located only steps away from all the major Sir George Williams buildings and has a variety of single and shared room types to choose from. Now, let's head slightly west to Concordia's Loyola campus, located in the neighborhood called Notre Dame de Grasse, most commonly known as NDG. There are actually three on-campus buildings to choose from, Hinkston Hall A and B, plus the Jesuit residence. Each one is literally five minutes away from where your classes will be held or where you'll go to catch the shuttle bus to go to the SGW campus. The Buzz Cafe, where your all-you-care-to-eat meal plan is served, is also only just a short two-minute walk away. Check out Concordia's Residence Life website for more details about any of the on-campus housing options. If you're looking to live in a community, then this is likely the best option for you. As for apartments near Loyola, the NDG area tends to have decently priced options near a wide range of restaurants and cafes not to mention the beautiful old maple trees. Cote de Neige and Cote St. Luke are two other nearby neighborhoods that could be good options for students taking classes at Loyola. Pro tip, when looking for an apartment, it's important to ask the landlord if utilities are included in the rent, specifically heating and hot water. It's also a good question to ask if a fridge and stove are included, as in Montreal, that's often not the case. Another Montreal quirk, apartment sizes are indicated using a number code. One and a half, two and a half, three and a half, and so on. The first digit indicates the number of rooms, while the half represents the bathroom. Now that your apartment hunting is done, and you think you found the one, it's important to know what acceptable leasing practices are to secure your apartment. For example, you should never be asked to send a deposit before you signed a lease, and you're certainly not required to share any unnecessary personal information with the landlord such as your credit card numbers, your bank account number, or your social insurance number. For help navigating all the ins and outs of the Montreal apartment scene, you can always contact Concordia Student Union's Off-Campus Housing and Job Bank, HOJO for short. Not only will they help you find an apartment, but they can also provide you with key advice and resources related to tenant rights, safe rental practices, legal information, and more. I hope this information helps you find your new home.